Now batting, Carlos Correa. He's one for two in the ball game. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone, a home run. Now at the plate, Oral Hershiser. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Well, there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings. Big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back a little bit and try to put that ball in play. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Oral Hershiser is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Hunter Pence stands in as he looks at a cold strike. I like that curveball right there. You know he's sitting fastball. And he wants to ambush one, jump it right out of the yard, and you drop the curveball on him. Got an 0-1 count. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the two-out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. Now with the plate, Ryan Sandberg. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Weak grounder back to the mound. On to first, and this will remain a top. Digging in, Vita Blue. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Stepping in, Derek Jeter is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? To second for one. On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Digging in, Ken Griffey Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Now here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. He did a nice job of getting two outs before the two-hitter came to the plate. Now you got the two-hitter at the plate, and you start to move to the power. You want to keep as many of those little guys out front off the base before the big boys come up. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Ken Griffey Jr. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. 0-2 pitch to Junior. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Jeter into shallow left. He's got it one away. Now batting. The first base now at the plate. Or Lando Cepeda. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. 
Stepping into the box, Buster Posey. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. And Buster's going to make his way aboard. He's got a base hit. But no, he puts on the brakes and will head back to first. Digging in, Reggie Jackson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Andrew McCutcheon will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Well, when you're facing good hitters, you got to mix it up. Most people say pitch off the fastball. Clearly right here, that first pitch changeup for a strike has now set up everything else. He's pitching off the changeup. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready with another two-strike offering. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? And he is in there. Coming to the plate now, Tony Perez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Here's Carlos Correa now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this. Dylan Batensis enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Another 0 and 2 coming. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The pitcher number 55. At the plate, Oral Hershiser. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Justin Turner will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Justin Turner. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. Well, this is kind of the life of a pinch hitter. You maybe get one at bat a game, and it usually comes against a relief pitcher that's absolutely throwing bullets at you. Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Another 0 2 home. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to. Your attention, please. So a now new pitch pitcher in. entering the fray Craig now. It'll be the hard throwing right hander, Craig Kimbrell. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Into the box now, Eddie Matthews. He was a double play victim last time around. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Andrew McCutcheon. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Striding in, Gary Sanchez. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. On, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him, 0 and 2. Here it comes, 0 and 2. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. McCutcheon is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Here's Robbie Cano now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this will be fouled away. Cano waiting on the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And there's one well above. I got the count. One and two. Of the zone for a ball. Jorge Posada. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top's player of the game. Yeah, he ended up handing things off to his bullpen buddies in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings from him really showed a lot in this one.